When you work in a sustainable way, and you have to be reactive and you have to keep plowing through. Specifically, the sustainable design aspect is where the design industry is pushing towards. Sustainability is a crazy field right now. I need to know how else I can make a difference. In my design process, technology has to be used, otherwise there will be a lot of wastage in the material. Design, it should make you cringe, makes you laugh, makes you suddenly smile. We're here today at Central St. Martins with the MA Design students partnering with Lenovo to brief in the next future generations of design and creation to think in a more sustainable way. The brief that we're presenting the students today is super open. One of the main themes that we want them to do is explore technology, but think about how do we make technology more sustainable. Really this brief comes down to this challenge of figuring out what happens when fashion and technology meet. We're challenging the MA design students to come up with a technology or a material that will have a truly lasting effect in a positive way on sustainability. My name is Joseph Clinton. I'm an MA design student currently studying furniture design. My project came to be through my own practice looking into incorporating acoustic elements into larger scale installations and furniture, exploring how the interaction processes can be adjusted and incentivized. I looked through sound pollution and began to try and tackle this as, as an issue and then using various elements of the fashion industry to facilitate this. My name is Peter Nischelski, I'm from California and I've come to Central St. Martins to research regenerative design. My project began when I was researching regenerative farming practices and uh, discovered that seaweed farming has many regenerative aspects such as carbon capture and water filtration. So by using seaweed we can actually clean the phosphorus and nitrogen out of the ocean and through that process get useful materials such as bioplastics and those can be used in the fashion accessories industry. I'm Lucie Marquette, I'm a jeweler. I realized virtual reality has a lot of potential and when I did some research I see Lenovo were doing VR Googles but with a program for school. I thought like oh it's a great idea to like use VR for education and to bring awareness on sustainability. I love working with students and seeing that it means something to them and they understand that this is a responsibility, but also a great design challenge. You know, we talked a lot about waste and we talked about how an amazing business opportunity that is. I'm Shubangam Singh, I'm from India, and I'm studying uh, MA Design Furniture at Centre St. Martins. My project started with this drinking culture, which is very prevalent in all throughout the world. So I saw there's a lot of aluminum cans wasting, and there's a lot of end up in the landfills. So I'm recycling those aluminum cans, melting down and using the white metal. And the other part is that I'm using banana fiber. India being the largest producer of banana fiber, they just burn it down and the farmers are not getting paid for this crop. It's really strong and it's natural. So I've combined them together to form lighting fixtures. Technology is really exciting in terms of its applications for digital fabrication. Through this process, I was really interested in mimicking the dynamics of living systems. And one of the ways to do this is through parametric design, which is coding algorithms that actually then generate designs based on a series of principles, which is exactly how natural systems work with DNA. Going forward, I've been able to see that technology really will be able to help me in future projects through some of the processes that I've learned and adopted across this project having access to these various softwares where I'm able to create these kind of patterns, create these various relief structures without having to go and then develop physically. It can really speed up the process. My advice to students at CSM is to figure out what makes you uniquely you and go after that. What I'm looking forward to is their mind share, whether it's a small sketch, but really to hear their voice. And I think that's what's so exciting about working with young designers is they have a beautiful perspective on the world and where we need to take the world. I really love working with technologies and we do that more than I think any other brand in the world at Stella. We're working with amazing non-PVC products, incredible recycled polyesters. I really want to help the next generations have a cleaner planet to live on and I want the fashion industry to take ownership and responsibility. We're one of the most harmful in the world and I know we're working with the design students in other areas here today, which is great. It's so exciting. That is the future of fashion.